what's up? I'm Athena and today I'm going to talk to you about some study tips. As we all know, it's harder to study during this time of year because we have a lot of things to do, like spend time with our family, dinners, lunches and all of that stuff. So while I was studying, I came up with some study tips that really worked for me and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope these study tips work for you as well as they work for me. And yeah. <laughs> So first, I'm going to talk about some study tips, and later on, I'm going to talk about how I revise effectively. Study tip number one, distribute. It's important to distribute all the things you have to study in time, because you will remember better the things you study if you study them partially than studying them at once. Study tip number two is repetition. There are two types of repetition. The first type is repeating something in order to maintain the information without understanding it, just memorizing it. The second one is repeating what you're studying in order to understand it. This is the type of repetition I do because it's easier for me to study and it's easier for me to remember it later on. <laughs> Sometimes when I've really tried my best studying something, understanding something, and I still don't understand it. What I do is repeat it again and again, trying to understand it, and write it down, trying to understand what I'm writing. It's not as easy as understanding what you're studying, but it works for me. Study tip number three, organize. Our brain will remember things better when they're organized. You have to organize it your way because, for example, I may think that something is organized, but you may think that it's not really organized. Each person has different concepts of organization. Study tip number four. Picture what you're studying. It's easier for our brain to remember something when we picture it. It's not always possible, but when it is, I recommend you do picture what you're studying. Study tip number five. Start studying something new and end studying something new. Now, what I mean by this is when you're going to start your study session, you have to start with something you haven't studied before, and then go on with something you have already studied, and then end with something you haven't studied before. It's easier for a brain to remember the first thing we studied and the last thing we studied. Study tip number six, explain it to yourself. It's easier for us to remember something when we explain it than just telling it out loud. Now for the revising tips, I have two tips. Revising, reading it out. This is what I personally do. Um, it's worked for me and what I usually do is just read it for myself, but it's better to read it out loud um, because you're getting two types of codification. The visual codification when you're reading it and the acoustic codification. You're hearing what you say. It's better to say it out loud than just read it for yourself. Two types of codification, it's better than one type of codification. It's really important to understand what you're reading because when you just read it without understanding it, your brain will not process the information and this type of review won't work. And the other revised tip is revise recalling. You say out loud what you've studied without reading it, just trying to remember everything you've studied. So these are some study tips I have for you. I hoped you liked this video and if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. It will really, really help me and I will really appreciate it. Thanks for watching!